Right, quick update on the sea monsters. As you can see, um, the external filter that I built is gone. We're back to the two big internals and the two, I've got two big internal bubble filters now. Simple reason, um, our ancestress bred. And the sump pump that I was using to feed the external got chewed up with baby ancestress. Um, absolutely heartbreaking. So, there we go. External internals again. Pictus. Uh, we've got two Oscars, young Oscars in there now. Um, Clan Loaches are doing well. Uh, oh, it's my birthday tomorrow, everybody. Happy birthday, Randy. Um, and I got a couple of presents. The, the new Pictus is out flying around the tank. That come from Mother. Um, it's eels. Oscars, two new ones. Um, in there somewhere is my present from my boys. I can't find him. He's disappeared on me. He's only small, but he's handsome. He's one of my big ancestors. I've got a juvenile Jack Dempsey. So now we've got a green tower. We've got a pair of Oscars. We've got Paraceverums, Clown Loaches, uh, Pirani are, are going, Head Standards going, Red Tail Black Sharks will be going, The Bitch Ears, um, and I can't find him, he's here, so he was here a minute ago, I just fed him and he was here, there he is, he just went down by the bubble filter, but he is here, he is here. Bruno. The turtle, while I'm here, I'll just pause this a second and be back with you. The turtle aquarium has had a slight makeover. That's Jerry. They are in here and they're doing really well. Yes, hello Jerry. As you can see now, they can come out and they do come out. And there's, oh, there's Barry. Boris has disappeared. He's a small one. But that's their tank. Just pause you again. Malawis. Yeah, I know the water's low. They've got a water change. But they're doing really well. Um pair of brockets that are in here, fairies, um, two trophies are doing well, the ancestors are doing well, a um, couple of new ones, a couple of big new ones, um, we have had some infighting, I have had to remove some fish, the uh, Lovely red-headed, uh, blue-headed red peacock has had to go. He was trying to kill everybody. Um, they're pretty fish, but there are certain fish that have to be removed. So, Petrocoli are still doing well. They're in there. Um, the two uh, Bojiers are doing well. Trophius are doing well. The peacocks that are left are doing exceptional. We've got a cluster of eggs and fry at the back. Um, can't really see them. Trophies are breeding. Everybody's happy. So that's that tank. Shrimp mountain. It's a bit dark. It's full of shrimps. The more you look, the more you see. But that's doing, that's coming on really well. Shrimp mountain. Finally, the New Beginnings tank. Chocolate Corridors. Uh, rainbows. Dwarf yellow, blue-eyed rainbows. Um, various Rasbora. Long fin rainbows. There's a few of them left. Um, Super Red Ancestress. There are four dwarf 
cichlids in here and when I say dwarf they make the rainbows look huge they're doing exceptional again um, got two pair don't see them very often there's one over there I just went down the back there by the Java um, but I think one pair has fry I swear I saw fry yesterday but you know But well, that's that little new beginners tank. I've got two bubble filters in there now. I find they're running them a lot better than the external, and they're running a lot better than the internal. They're a lot quieter. The fish seem a lot happier. And actually, my pH and my nitrate and my nitrite is absolutely spot on. Um, I've got an adjustable aerator there. The, the aerators that I use not plugging them, I don't get given them for anything. I get them off eBay, it's all Palm Solutions. Um, fantastic kit, comes with the aerator. Um, there's an aerator in it, there's a stone, there's pipe work, there's non-return valve. Absolutely spot on. I'm trying to see if I can see one of these little dwarf cichlids for you. But they are so hard to see. I mean, they are absolutely minute. They really are. These things here are, are twice their size. And they're dark in coloration, but they're ever so nice. I got them from Trimar local aquarium shop. But I haven't seen one. I saw one a minute ago. They're so skittish. I will try and get some video. They, they they don't like bloodworm. It's very odd. They're not overly keen on the bloodworm. They like flake and they like pellet. But I will try. There's one. Oh, they disappeared. There, 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 there. The back. There. Right there by the bloodwood. That's an adult. They're like a very small bluey colour. It's quite weird. Right at the very back there. He's just gone. He's right there by the bloodwood. In that little gap of bog, you can just about make him out. That's a little one, that's a male. So anyway, yeah, that's update on the tank. The crab tank is being overtaken by shrimp. There must have been eggs in the gravel and they've hatched. So we've got to siphon them out this week and move them over to Shrimp Mountain because the crabs are eating them. But that's such is life. Anyway, this is Randy, I'll catch you later.